for this project, I'm going to be using the Bernat Softy Baby Cotton. So this is a lightweight three yarn. I would recommend using anything lightweight. You can use whatever. I think this is a yeah cotton and acrylic blend. Um, it's not like super soft, but it has like a nice form when it's all crocheted together. I wouldn't recommend going larger than a lightweight um, just because then the skirt will be really bulky. But yeah, I'm just taking this and to be honest, I had already started because I wasn't planning on filming a tutorial, but I'm just going to walk you through what I already did. Um, I am starting in the middle of the skirt just because I am making this up as I go, so bear with me. Uh, if this tutorial gets uploaded, that means everything worked out, so there's nothing to worry about. So what I did is I'm making a size small to medium. I do have a small pregnant belly right now, but this will, this pattern will work for a regular size small to medium as well. So all I did was I made a slip knot and chained a total of 74. Then I went back on that very first row and I did a row of half double crochets. So to do a half double crochet, pretend this is the first row. I'm so sorry, this is so unprofessional. So you just wrap the yarn around the hook and then you go through the very first chain of the row, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three left on your hook, then you yarn over, pull through all three. That's a half double crochet in US crochet terms. So all I did was went along that very first row, placing one half double crochet in every chain. When I reached the end of the row, I chained one and then began placing my second row of half double crochets. So that's where I'm at right now. So if you want your skirt to be longer, this is going to be the length of the skirt. It, mine's going to be a little bit on the short side. You can make this initial row as long as you want it to be, depending on how long you want your skirt to be. So I did a total of 74 chains, and also I forgot to mention, I'm using a size 4 millimeter hook. So basically, I'm just going to go back along this row, placing one half double crochet in each chain. And I'm going to do this for about 15 to 20 rows. So this is going to cover the bulk of my front side. So I am going to be decreasing along the outer sides to do more of like a hip curve, but for now I'm just doing the bulk of the work, probably around 15 to 20 rows. I will let you know exactly how much that ends up being for me for my size small to medium. So I do just want to point out to make sure you are not skipping any chains so that last chain in the row will be kind of curved. So just make sure that you're placing uh, a half double crochet in that very last chain as well. So when you reach the end of this row and every row, you're going to just chain one, flip over your work, placing a half double crochet in that very first chain of the row. and then continuing as usual down the row, placing one half double crochet in each chain. Just repeat this for the next 15 to 20 rows. So I have been working on just doing row after row. I ended up doing a total of 41 rows. Please ignore this side. I'm making up the pattern as I go. So I completed one side of increases but just pretend for this video, I had just completed the 41 rows. So pretending that this is the side that I'm finishing off on instead of this side, which I already completed, it's the same exact thing. You're gonna have to repeat this process, cut and tie on the other side anyway. So yeah, please forgive me. I am making up the pattern as I go and this is just how I work, so. So what I did was I ended up tying the string on the other side, but pretending that I just finished off my 41st row. So this fits me almost completely on the front half of my waist. So this is gonna be the front half of the skirt and I'm gonna repeat this process for the back half. So I do want to increase on the sides for the width of my hip, so it's going to be a little bit different on everyone, but this is just going to be a generic small to medium size. And I will leave exact measurements on my blog 
and the pattern. So go over there if you want to try and um, alternate the pattern for your particular size. That's totally fine. This is going to be the pattern for a small to medium. So what I'm going to do is for that very next row, I'm going to slip stitch in the first five chains. Once I have slip stitched in the first five chains, then I'm gonna continue the row as usual. So I'm gonna chain one to bring up the work, prepare for a half double crochet, go through that very next chain, placing one half double crochet. And then I'm gonna make my way down, placing one half double crochet in each chain. So now I've reached the end of the row. I'm just going to uh, chain one and flip over my work as I would any other row. And I'm just gonna continue with half double crochets going back up along. The only difference is I'm going to stop five chains from the end of the row beneath it. So I'm just gonna count out five chains and stop my half double crochet there. And then I'm gonna continue off my row from here. So if you kind of understand uh, what I'm doing, I'm just going to be slowly, gradually uh, decreasing uh, the top half because the length of the top fits my waist perfectly. My hips come out a little bit larger than that. So I am slowly decreasing off until I reach the widest point of my hip and then I'm just going to go straight off from there. So um, if you are measuring this to your size, basically you're going to want to repeat this pattern of doing half double crochets, but every row at the top only, you are going to either skip, if you're going upwards, you're going to skip the last five chains, or if you're going downwards, you're going to slip stitch in the first five chains and go downwards. So I will show you the next couple of rows just in case you need a little bit more instruction but otherwise you're just going to continue doing half double crochets except for skipping the first five chains or the last five chains of every row. So I'm just going to work my way up placing one half double crochet in every chain. So now I've stopped um, my row I'm working on because I have only five chains left in the row beneath it. So now I'm going to um, end this row and prepare for the next row. I'm going to chain one, flip over my work. And usually after we chain one, we place our first half double crochet or stitch in that very first chain, but we are going to be skipping this for the slip stitches. So I'm gonna go over to the next chain, placing my hook and doing a slip stitch and I'm gonna be placing one slip stitch in each of the first five chains. Once I have my five slip stitches, I'm gonna chain one to bring up the yarn, prepare for a half double crochet, go through that very next chain in the row, placing my first half double crochet. Then I'm gonna be just placing one half double crochet in each chain until I make my way to the very end. So I'm just gonna be repeating this process for the next, let's see how many I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. So I'm gonna be doing this for the next eight rows, slowly making my way down so that the row becomes shorter and shorter each row. So yeah, I'm just gonna be repeating this process. So now I've finished my side. I did an additional eight rows, including the um, five chain decrease only along the top. So I'm just gonna cut and tie this off. So at this point, if you've only completed one side, then um, you're just going to 
attach on the other side, complete the other side. I've already done both sides. So I'm just gonna give you the measurements that I have so far. The widest point of the hip on the skirt measures about 17 and a half inches. So this is a little bit stretchy too, so keep that in mind. You're gonna want it to measure half of what your hip size is. And my waist size at this point is about 13 and a half. Obviously that's stretchy too, so with the stretch it goes up to 16. Um, but yeah, so basically all you're gonna do is copy this exact pattern, do one more, exactly the same as this. So this is gonna be the front side and then I'm gonna work on the back side. So basically that's it. Then I'm gonna be attaching and then adding a band and then a band along the bottom is also optional. But I will say, unfortunately, I only have this much yarn left in this color and that's not gonna be enough to finish this project. I thought that I could just go back to the store and pick up some more, but they are completely sold out as well as sold out online too. So for the sake of finishing this tutorial, I am going to be using a different yarn to complete the back side. Um, I don't really recommend that. Uh, I think it would look cuter if you used all of the same yarn, but just so you know, that's why I'm doing it. I'm just gonna be taking another lightweight three, trying to get the same color, but whatever. I'm just going to finish this tutorial to show you the pattern, not really the colors I would have originally chosen. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat this process one more time. And I'll come back and show you how to connect them together. So it doesn't fit in frame, but now I have two identical matching skirt pieces. Again, I ran out of yarn. I don't recommend using two different yarns to complete the skirt, but just for the sake of showing you the pattern, this is what I'm using. I have not fastened off my yarn. I reached the end of the last row. So now I'm just gonna begin attaching them together. So I'm just going to line them up, um, starting from the bottom doesn't really matter where you start though but I'm just going to continue this thread so I have less loose threads to weave in later so I'm just going to match it up and connect it together using a single crochet so I'm just going to go through that very first chain the bottom of the back side or the front side I'm going to kind of weave in this piece as well as I'm working just gonna yarn over pull through yarn over pull through these two and then as I go I'm gonna go through the front and the back piece together yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two so I'm gonna be single crocheting these two pieces together just making my way along until I reach the top of the skirt So I finished single crocheting my way up one side of the skirt. I'm just gonna cut and fasten that off and then repeat that on the other side. So now I have both sides attached and I have flipped it the right side out. I'm gonna be making a tight band along the top of the skirt. So I'm just gonna take my yarn and reattach it on one of the corners. And since I want this band to be tighter so that it helps hold the skirt in place, I am going to be decreasing. So I am just gonna do a basic row of single crochet all the way around the perimeter of the skirt. So I do want to cinch it in a little bit so I'm not filling in too many single crochets as I go. So it's gonna kind of curl in a little bit, but you're not gonna skip drastically, you're just gonna skip over. Um, there's not definitive chains, you're working into the side of the row, so just use your own discretion, place your chains accordingly. You're not gonna want too many chains, you're not gonna wanna squeeze in a lot of chains on this initial row you're gonna want a little bit of a stretch so um, that's as best as I can describe it so I hope that makes sense so 
So as you can see, that's what I'm doing so far. It's not too much, but it kind of does cinch it in a little bit. So I'm just gonna make my way all the way around the skirt with this initial row of single crochet. So I've made my way all the way around. I'm gonna be working in rounds, so I'm not gonna uh, attach this row together. I'm just gonna go straight over and begin working on the second row. So now you do have definitive chains that you work through. I'm gonna be weaving in this piece as I go. So I am going to be placing decreases. I'm gonna decrease um, twice in a row, right as I begin this side of the second row, and I'm gonna decrease twice in a row along the side where it connects to the back. Then I'm gonna decrease twice on the back. So I'm gonna show you this first decrease, and then you can just continue around. So continuing with single crochets, place your hook through the very next chain, yarn over, pull through, place your hook through the very next chain after, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all three chains on your hook. Then place one regular single crochet, and then one more decrease. So this is gonna be the two decreases in a row. So yarn over, pull through, go through the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all through three. Now I'm just gonna be working as usual until I reach the other side, where again I'm gonna place a decrease, one single crochet, decrease. And when I work my way over to the back, decrease, one single crochet, decrease, and then work my way over. So I hope that makes sense. Kind of talk through it fast, but really you just want, the idea is you want the initial band to scrunch in a tiny bit so it's more stretchy and it stays up. You can make this um, band as thick as you want it to be. I'm probably only gonna do two rows. It's completely up to you. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this row of decrease. So now I'm finished with the second row. I want to fasten this off and since I worked in a round, I'm just gonna go through that very last chain as usual and then once I hit the chain on the opposite side of the skirt where I attach it together, I'm just gonna yarn over, pull through and then continue that as a slip stitch. And then you can cut and fasten this off. So just yarn over, pull through and then tighten that. And that will fasten off your row if you wanted to make the band longer, it's completely up to you. I would just continue single crochets with no decrease, um, but that's all I want for my skirt. I think it looks cute without a big band. Um, I am going to make a band along the bottom, similar, basically the same exact method I did with the top. I want the bottom of the skirt to cinch in a tiny bit as well, so I'm going to be doing a row of basic single crochet kind of spreading it out so that it cinches on that first initial row and then I will do the decrease on the corner, the decrease on the other corner, the decrease on the back. I'm not doing decreases on the front. It's completely up to you. I do have a pregnant belly so I want the front to be more stretchy than the back so that is why I'm placing my decreases only on the sides and the back but basically I'm just going to repeat exactly what I did to the front to the bottom so I'm going to just skip through that. Once you're finished with that, you are completely done with this project. It's just a very basic skirt, but very wearable, and I am absolutely in love with it. I'm gonna make some more that aren't multicolored. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. If you have any requests or suggestions, please leave them in the comments, and I will see you in my next video.